boy. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So, straight from the track, if you guys seen the last video, we did a, uh, a track day at Spirit Peaks. So the car is super filthy right now. I haven't had a chance to clean it, but I'm at my boy David's place right now. I'm actually gonna be buying his wheels. So he bought these wheels brand new for his JZX and they were a little too aggressive. They're 18 by nine and a half, 10 and a half plus 22. But the way this, this man is running his angle kit, he's running wise fab on his JZX. <laughs> he said wise fab. He's running wise fab. So the fronts were just a little too aggressive. So he decided to sell them. And honestly, the only reason I'm buying these is because these are the Nismo. These are 57 CRs, like the Nismo edition or whatever. Basically LMGT4s but better. Yeah, yeah, they look exactly like LMGT4s, but they're not, and they're half the price. Yeah, and it's they're... freaking clutch. I feel like these are gonna look pretty sick on the Z. I'm not a big fan of black wheels, but... I'm gonna have to be. I, yeah, I'm gonna have to be now. I'm buying these things, but honestly, if I don't like them in a few months, if I can't get used to them, then I'll just sell them and get something else. But I think it'll look, it'll look decent. Like, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. It Definitely sucks. better than RPF1s, let's just say. Exactly, exactly. The RPF1s, they're cool, but they're pretty basic. And I don't know, I just want something a little more cool, a little more cool. And these are gonna be the wheels that replace them. It's also super sick to have homies that have tire machines pull up to their house, buy some wheels, get tires mounted right away. It's super clutch. Find homies that have tire machines. Life tip right there. Find <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Machine. Only be friends with them because of the tire machine. All four wheels are on. You can't really see much, it's too dark. We'll get a proper first look tomorrow when it's light out. The only thing is I'm gonna have to run a bigger spacer in the front because my RPF ones are plus 15. These are plus 22, so they're a little more sunk. I think I just need to get black housing headlights to match the wheels and it'll look cherry. All right, so David got new re a new replacement wheel for his JZX. Here they are. Let's see his reaction. Bro, what the heck are these? Is that nice? They're not bad, bro. It's just a different style. Like this is like it's a different. It's definitely a different style. <laughs> so this is David's JZX. So these are. <laughs> what the fuck? We should probably just like look at his S13, not yeah. this thing. But dude, no. Once he puts the kit on, once he gets the side skirts on, it'll look sick. So these front wheels, I think, are like, oh I think they're like 18 by like eight or something like that. Like they're pretty weak. Yeah. But look how much they still poke because of the spacers he's running. Yeah. He's running. I mean, he has to run those spacers to clear the angle kit though. So like with the 57 CRs on here, it was poking like out here, bro. It was bad. Yeah, yeah. It was bad. So that's the reason he's selling the 57 CRs to me. They looked really good on this car. It kind of sucks he has to sell them, but this car's gonna look super sick once he's done with it. So what do you think of the wheels now? I don't know. <laughs> I gotta see it on the finished car. I, yeah, I yeah, see yeah. There's, there's a vision here. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can see the vision. There's a style. It's like, <laughs> not my style. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, bro? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> yeah. It's called, they're called the AVS Model 6. And it's JDM, bro. It's just hella JDM. Like it's that style. JDM, that's yeah, it. yeah. It's style. It's like Yokohama. If you, Yoko Hama, Yoko Hama if you, wheel. If you know, you know. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's not like, <laughs> it's a style. Stamps like Serbs. Like, I would never put Serbs on my <laughs> No, it's just, like, no, it's just, okay, period correct. It's period yeah, correct. Yeah, 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 yeah. Once you're done, it's gonna be sick. Pe it's, yeah, it's period correct. Yeah. Because the years are same around, the same year, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. the car, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're stuck in those times, damn. These look <laughs> nice, these look nice. All right, so here's what the wheels look like in the day. And if I'm being honest, it's been a few days now, so the wheels are actually starting to grow on me. But the first day I came out here, I was like, damn, what did I get myself into? This is my first set of black wheels and I had no clue what to expect. But at the same time, the wheels are growing on me. I'm actually starting to dig the look. But one thing I noticed, since the offset is a little weaker on these, um, we have pretty whack fitment. So I'm currently running a 15 mil spacer. I ordered a 25 mil spacer to make up for the difference in offset. They already showed up, so I'm just gonna have to throw those on. 
Um, and one other thing I noticed is the headlights just did not flow well with the black wheels whatsoever. So what I did was I ordered OEM style black housing headlights. They also just showed up. I haven't had a chance to throw anything on yet because it's been raining all day. So we're gonna do that another day. Got some spacers, headlights, and then we'll go get some proper B-roll of this thing. But yeah, the game plan for tonight is not to work on the Z. We're actually gonna be taking the S2000 to a car meet. So if you know me, I'm not big on local car meets, but this one's about 45 minutes away from home. So I decided to go check it out. Uh, uh, the Checkpoint Japan boys are throwing a meet, so I'm gonna take the S2000. Alec might come through and take my Z, since his is blown up from the track day. Um, but yeah, should be a pretty chill night. I'm just gonna go to the meet, check it out, grab some boba. I'm gonna get to drive the S2000, so that's always a good thing. The meet is uh, pretty much over. I didn't really do any filming. We were just kind of walking around, just talking. It was, pretty, it was a pretty good meet. Got to meet some new people. Um, cars were decent. Bobo was good. Ali got to bring the Z. I got to see it rolling on these wheels for the first time and I'm actually really happy with how it looks. But besides that, it was a pretty good night. I'd say it was a successful night. And now we head home. <laughs> What's up, gang? What's up? What do you think of the new wheels? I know you already seen them, but <laughs> dope, black on white, yay or nay? I like it. You like it? Yeah. Me too. It's growing on me. It's growing on me. It's finally somewhat nice out. It's been raining. The weather in Washington has been all over the place. But the plan for right now is to wash the car. I want to throw the new headlights in, and then I also want to throw my spacers on. I'm kind of getting used to this fitment, but it's still pretty whack. I think the new spacer will make it sit a lot more flush. So that's the plan for right now. And then we're gonna take this thing out. Hopefully get some rollers. My boy's gonna drive the whip. I'll try to film, get some rollers of this thing and maybe do some skids. I don't know. I wanna see how this thing looks sliding, so we'll see. So here's the difference. Hopefully my fenders can handle that. We're going from a 15 mil to 25, only a 10 mil difference. Doesn't sound like a big difference, but it actually looks like a pretty big difference. We'll see, let's throw them on. Uh -huh. Ooh, there we go, that's a little more proper. Hey, we got enough clear, oh, I think we have enough clearance. Honestly, I think it's, my fender's gonna buckle. As you could see right there, I already buckled it once with my RPF ones. It's like when you're in reverse and you turn the wheel, it just catches the fender. But I don't really care. A drift car, this fender's already clapped, so it's all good. So peep that fitment. Not bad, not bad. A lot better compared to what it was before. Whack, bro. Look at this. Look at this. That's called drift fitment right there. Third time's the charm. <laughs> oh my gosh. KBD, baby. Let's go. Drift cars be like... KBD be like. All right, car is washed, fitment is fixed. Last piece to the puzzle. We got some black housing headlights. So I'm gonna rip the bumper off real quick, throw these on, sun is setting. I'm still trying to go do some street skids. So let's throw these on. All right, let's see these things. Ooh, yo, what do you think? I don't know, bro. There's a bunch of plastic on top. <laughs> <laughs> I think these are going to look way better, bro. Let's go see next to the car. I don't know, man. I like the shiny. Really? Yeah. I don't know. These are going to flow with the wheels, though. No, I know. I know. It's fine. If, if I don't no, like these. No, it'll look good with the wheels. Yeah, if I don't like them, I'll just go back to the clear. Yeah. I like to have options, you know what I mean? Yeah, why not? <laughs> that easy, bro. Ooh. Zip tie, gang. Now you just got to put on six brand new ones when you put it back on. <laughs> More like ten, bro. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, so we got the first headlight in. Michael was saying he liked the clear before, but I think I, I got his mind changed. Am I right or what? Yeah, you're right. Flows so much better, just the black on black compared to this side, the one we haven't changed yet. It just don't look right. I don't know. Like, it just don't look right. You know what I'm Too saying? Too shiny, dude. Yeah, it just it just throws it off. I think the black housing is the, is the move, bro. Doing this in a rush is not fun, but we're almost there, almost there. Just swapping out all my bulbs, keeping all my LEDs, keep it nice and clean. Already got the ballast on here. Almost there. Oof, let's go. Let's go. So much better, man. I'm so glad I got these black housing headlights. All right, so car is finally all done. We got the fitment all fixed, got the new headlights on. Super happy with how it looks. I know originally I said I was gonna get rid of these wheels if they don't grow on me, but they really are growing on me and I think I'm gonna keep them. I only say I'm gonna get rid of them so that the wife lets me get the wheels, you know? That's my little tactic. Oh, I'll get rid of them. Psych, when do I ever get rid of my wheels? But anyways, yeah, I'm super happy with how these wheels look. I guess the plan for now is to go get some rollers of this thing. I wanna go get some rollers, do some photos. And then I also wanna shoot a reel for our big news or whatever. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably already know or seen the reel. Uh, if you don't hit me with the follow and you guys will know ahead of time next time. But uh, yeah, we got one more thing we wanna install in the car. So coming back here, I don't know if you guys noticed, we got this nice little wall tap right here, you know, Drift King. Just kidding. That was my boy, Alec. He was pulling out of the driveway with his big ass truck and clipped it with his tire. You know, no big deal. It kind of makes me look like a better driver, so it's all good. Um, but since he did that, he donated me his old wing. So he, he put on a way bigger wing on his car and he gave me his little OEM wing. So that's the last part I got to throw in the car. I feel like it'll make the rear end just pop a little more because right now it's, it's kind of basic. All I have is the roof wing and then a little bumper. Oh, something in the rear end is missing. I don't know what. But I think the wing will help it. So let's go throw that thing on. So originally you, you got to bolt this into your trunk, but I don't want to make holes in my trunk. So I just cut these little tabs off. And I'm just going to run double sided tape all around and hope that this thing never flies off. If it does, my bad, Alec. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to center this thing right now. Oh, all right. It's sticking. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, you should probably just wing it. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> I think I'm just going to wing it, bro. Like it's on double sided tape. I don't really know how far down it needs to go or if I'm centered. I think I'm centered. I think there's only one way this thing's gonna stick. Here we go, we're winging it. Oh, oh no, that's good. Perfect, look at that. First try, baby. Look, it's centered. Yeah, let's go. Look at that. This thing is like paint match too. The car's wrapped, the wing is painted, but no one will ever know. Okay. <laughs> so Alec pulled up on his newest car newest build he just finished we're just gonna almost go finished. almost finished what's left projects are never finished that's true that's true yeah. but yeah we're just gonna go <laughs> we're gonna go cruise and maybe take some photos but before we do that um that reel i'm gonna film i want to try doing some left foot braking and on 350z's the the throttle is electronic so anytime you tap the left foot or anytime you tap the brake while on the throttle it just cuts so there's one wire that you have to cut to your ecu and i've been slacking on this i should have done it like a year ago it's called like the pin 101 mod or something like that it's this blue and orange wire you just cut it and then you shouldn't have issues with left foot braking so we'll find out if it actually works all right boom it's done it's been done dude that was so easy i don't know why it took me so long to do that that took like two minutes i don't know why it took me a year to do
All right, so we just finished up rollers. We just got to the spot where I'm gonna film the reel. So the big news for us is my automotive career is officially over. I'm done with YouTube, I'm retiring. And the reason is, your boy's gonna be a dad. Come here. Yeah, we're having a baby, which is pretty crazy. Um, so if I disappear from YouTube, y'all know why. Uh, I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna disappear from YouTube. Nothing's gonna change, everything's gonna stay the same. Still gonna be into cars, still gonna be drifting. Still gotta finish my 2J. We're just gonna be taking the baby with us to all these events. That's right. Yeah, we're super excited. It's the next big thing in our lives. Um, but yeah, so if I stop uploading, I know I barely upload. I upload like once a month or whatever, but if I disappear for a few months, y'all know why. But besides that, we're gonna film that reel real quick. I'll probably insert it in the video here. Um, yeah. So we just did like a few tries and I buckled my fender. This one was already buckled before. I don't know why it keeps happening. Usually it happens when I'm like in reverse going into a driver or something. I don't know how this just happened, but hey Alec, do you have a flathead or anything we could pry it out? You do? Yep. All right, go grab the flathead. <laughs> yeah, the baby was weighing us down and we clapped the fender. Oh, yep, there we go. <sighs> Oof. Okay, I think we're good for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think of the new setup. I'm super happy with how everything turned out. Wasn't the biggest fan of black wheels, but I think I'm starting to become one. Yeah, I guess that'll be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, we also just hit 20,000 subscribers, which is pretty crazy to me. So shout out to everyone that subscribed to the channel and thank you guys for watching my videos. Uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh, oh. You hear that Terpski? Yo, I gotta stop slacking. I gotta hurry up and finish my 2JZ, bro. Ah.